week, so we're going to join for a couple of hours and have Curtis and the Catholic League and we done. Congratulations. All right. All your years of coaching, um, this first half, how, what does that kind of stack up as far as how dominant you are? Well, being that offensively we struggled at times, tonight we executed very well in offense. We put some space between us and them, and we can breathe a little bit, but our defense shut down the great offense tonight. That was a big thing. Kristen obviously had a great game. It seemed like he was very disruptive, and they couldn't really get anything going against you know a team that's been well. Briston, Christian, and yeah. the other nine guys. I mean, um, this team was averaging 49 points a game, and I'm gonna tell you, when they scored 27 with about eight minutes left, I said we could still be in trouble. You know, I never relaxed. So um, that's how much respect I have for them. But I love my kids, and we we, we beat a sound, solid football team tonight. All right, can you talk about the play of Maurice Bailey? Obviously, it seemed like every time he touched the ball, he was either <laughs> I told Maurice, said, Maurice, son, if you have one more long run, you don't get in the end zone. That's going to be it. And he got in the end zone in the last one. Uh, Kirell and Maurice uh, ran well. And of course, the offensive line was open some holes for him. So Maurice is, Maurice is a veteran. He ran for close to 1,000 yards last year. So I know what he can do. And I'm sorry somebody asked this already. But uh, next week, you get, you're right back at it with a, a game against John Curtis. You know, you go against Brother Martin Nas Curtis the next week. How, what's the message for you guys? Jasmine, Holy Cross, Shaw, Brother Martin, Curtis, St. Augustine, like that for – the ages in the Catholic League, and now they're in the Catholic League. It's just, um, it gets closer to the end, so the games become bigger now. We both have um, we're one game up, and they're one game behind, so I'm sure it'll be a huge game on Halloween Day. Yeah, uh, 600 yards of offense, that's not something we usually talk about with Rumble. Or Rumble, you guys know for defense. Well, what are you, how do you explain the explosion tonight? Yeah, that's, that's a lot of yards for us. Um, we executed, and we still had fumbles and interceptions. I mean, we still have some points on the field. You know, thankfully, we didn't need them.